all you glorious people of the world. Chelsea Chi here, back with Paper Mario. The redone, reduxed, redo version. So, we have the Pulse Stone, so we're technically supposed to be finding Dry Dry Ruins. Instead, we are going to uh, find the secrets of the, what you call it, the desert. <laughs> um, normally, what I would do is I would come out here, you see, and I would go all the way to, like, the south. So, right now we're at, like, the farthest west no east i know my directions we're the farthest east you can go so i would start off by going south until i can't go south anymore and then i would just go left all the way until i can't go go up one then go right all the way till i can't go and i would just kind of zigzag back and forth to make sure i got everything and all the secrets however the gloriness of a walkthrough means I don't have to do that. So the first thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna go back uh, to that stone cactus. That scares me all the time. Um, but first, first before that is we're gonna talk to this traveling nomad mouse because the letter that we just picked up is for him. Oh, he tells us about the oasis as well. Traveling Nomad Mouse, correct? The name's Parafairy. I deliver the letters, and we have one for you. And it's been delivered. My job's never done. <laughs> A letter to me from Mufasta. I've heard the name, but I can't remember who he is. Anyway, thank you for delivering it. I'm surprised that you found me way out here. I just passed you like 10 minutes ago, dude. It's extremely hot traveling in the desert, so take care. Uh, yeah. I take this as my thanks. Don't hesitate. Please take it. Woohoo. I think we get star pieces from most of the letters that we're gonna deliver. We're gonna have Bombette out, because... I like Bombet. And now she. Ooh, doo -doo. Now she's super strong. Alright, here's the stone castle. Stone castle. The stone cactus. You gotta watch out for that whirlwind. I need to go south. How many spaces? Three. So. One. Nothing up here. These cactuses are scaring me, man. Two. Don't see anything. Three. One. And then I need to go west two spaces, I think is what it said. Yes. So one. Do, 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 do. I probably should fight all of these guys. I really should. To level up. I really should, you guys. And if we get up here... We have another attack sound effect badge. The C one. That's not the one I bought. Yeah, okay. Cool. So we have that one. Where are we going next? From the attack FC, go east three spaces. So back this way. So one. You know what? I'll attack this guy. He's right here. It's like I want to blow them all up. I probably shouldn't. I'll just blow this one up. And then if he summons another one of his dudes, then I'll blow him up. Because I'm not dealing with your shamanam again. <laughs> Even though it's like I gotta blow them all up anyways. <laughs> 
to six. It's crazy. We're just gonna... We're just gonna switch. Use bomb bet to bomb attack. <laughs> Banana, six star points. What was this? This was one. Oh, I better not forget. Two. Three. And north one. Let me just make sure there's nothing here. There's a block. Bye. Up the block? It's a negative. Blue. Jump in the whirlwind and you'll land in something. So we'll see. Normally I don't try and go in the whirlwinds. But that's how you get this badge that I never knew how to get. How interesting. Spin attack badge. Let's Mario destroy a weaker enemy with a spinning move. So probably if we like spin into them, it would work. Uh, okay. So we need to go back to the stone cactus, wherever it's at. Is there anything else in here? I can get this if I use Cooper. A stopwatch? Alright, uh, I have no idea where I'm at. Whoa, now I do. Alright. Stone cactus. Just traveling, the mad mouse. Gotta watch out for that guy. All right, stone cactus. If I go one screen north, investigating, investigating. Seeing everything. One screen north, and and one screen east. So, I could have gone up from like, Lord. We have our triangle of trees that that one toad told us about. We get ourselves another badge. The runaway pay badge lets Mario earn star points even if he escapes from battle. Normally when I run away from battle, that is good. Uh, da. It just says there's more minor treasures. Um, I don't know what they mean by minor is the thing. Like, if it's just like items, then I'm fine with forgetting items. Um, but I'm assuming it would do badges for us. So I'm guessing we're not missing any badges. So I guess we will go ahead and find where we're going to put this pull stone at. Uh, two screens north of the runaway pay badge and two screens west. You know? Knowing that, two screens west. That just means it's north from here. Whoa! We're gonna avoid. Shouldn't be avoiding enemies, but we are. Is there anyone? Nope. Ooh. Is it just one of you guys? Was I off as well? 
Well, we're just gonna run into each other. Da -da 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 -da, I'm gonna blow you all up! I'm so glad I upgraded my bed. <laughs> this is so nice. Banana! Eight star points! Alright. What do we get? Uh, nothing? Uh, nothing. Uh, nothing. Oh, ooh, something. Oh, was there anything in the, the secret, secret tunnel? Secret tunnel. Okay, well, let me go back. Oh, jeez. Ah! Fire flower! I want that fire flower! Ah! Ah! Oh, Wes, I went the completely wrong way. No wonder I didn't find anything, because I'm dumb. Is this- aha, yes. It's going crazy, there's this weird looking rock with an indent. This looks like it's our place, boys. Let's see what happens. There she is. There she blows. As it says, we have a heart container that I am going to immediately proceed to miss. Let's go ahead and head inside. We have some time. Blag, blag. I'm the huge, scary Teuton Koopa, remorseless king of the desert. Who dares set foot in this, my palace of the sands? Speak and be known. Be gone from this place now, or disaster will befall you. We have a save. Thankfully, this save is in, unlike at the Koopa Rose Fortress where it was outside. So hopefully, um, when I have to stop, things won't mostly respawn the taupe okay but we can go ahead a little bit um yeah i guess we're gonna use mombat i knew it was opening a bump bump ba -dum -bum. you know i should actually probably have cooper out for these pokies so she doesn't have to use her bomb ability. Thank goodness, I do not need to get poisoned from these guys. Lord. Plus this gets rid of one of his things. Well, I didn't get poison, thankfully. I'm pretty sure these are poison pokies. <gasps> I get more star points! Yes! Bun in the na! Eight star points! Holy oh, jeez. Thank you. And I 
see a badge back there that I desire. Dun, 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 dun. Pokey mummy! That's why they're poisonous. Because they did. Uh, this will go through both of them, so let's do that. There we go. I mean, this one was already going to be dead next turn anyways, so... Really didn't do too, too much, I guess. <laughs> but in the now, four star points! The Spike Shield Badge lets Mario jump on a spiked enemy without taking damage, which I do typically... There's a coin. I think I got it. Which I do typically like to use. Uh, let me catch up real fast. On my walkthrough, I'm like... <laughs> moving ahead without it. <laughs> um, How much does it use? Where's it at? It does two. So I could take off, like, the payoff badge. Or I could take... I could take off Speedy Spin for right now. I shouldn't really be using it in here. And that way I can put on the, the what you call it, the spike shield. Just in case I'm dumb and I jump on it or something. This way it'll help out. I should probably still use the hammer like a smart person. Here's where I should have used that flower power at. I've been getting a lot of flower power back, though. So we're gonna use it on this as well. There we go. That was efficient. Me getting smacked in the face is not. I think I might use a mush. Use a mushroom. Six star points! Alright, and a mushroom. We're gonna go ahead and use that. Alright, that needs a key. So that means we gotta go down here. Oh, well, will you look at that? A key! That was pretty easy. They gotta start you off easy. And then it'll get more advanced. <laughs> sure. Gonna press the button, and what's going to happen when I do that? The sand! What I always like about this is that there's that little hump right there. Um, but when we go down there, that hump will not be there. Also the fact that you can go in the hole, but you can't fall through the hole. Where's the logic in that game? See? Completely smooth. No hump. Fool! You have ignored my warning, haven't you? You fool! You will fall to my lesions and become a mummy of the sand! Well, I think we're gonna try and become a mummy of the sands in the next video. This one seems like as good of a place as any to stop at. Um, cause this is kind of, not the central room, but it kind of is in a sense. Uh, so in the next one, we'll probably finish, uh, Dry Dry Ruins. I hope. I hope Dry Dry Ruins doesn't take two episodes. We'll see, I guess. <laughs> As always, though, be sure to like, comment, share, and even subscribe if you have not already done so. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!